All right, today I'm going to do an unboxing and a short review of the Seekins Precision SP223 Billet Gen 2 lower receiver with the ambidextrous bolt stop assembly. As you can see, it ships in this white box, um, a generic white box with a sticker on the side and the serial number written on it. And inside, oh, you can't you can't see it from this angle, but uh, inside there's a just a sticker that says "Made in USA" and inspected by JP. Uh, this is more or less just how it ships: a piece of bubble wrap and the lower receiver. I'll take this out, set it down. that sticker. Not that I'm sure anybody cares about the Made in the USA sticker. We know this is made over in Idaho. Alright, this is the... Let's try and get my lights here. I keep having lots of illumination problems. So, I have my workbench here lit up like a Christmas tree again. So, this is the Seekins precision low profile or um, excuse me billet stripped lower receiver this is a very nicely built lower receiver um, you can see it's got a fixed uh, trigger guard uh, they refer to this as a oversized winter trigger guard um, that's got some holes drilled in the bottom and it's nothing removable here like on a lot of other lower receivers you'll also notice that it ships with the uh, ambidextrous uh, bolt stop assembly and it is accessible from both sides the bolt stop assembly is installed using that it's not installed using standard roll pins it uses um, screws. Now if you ever visit Seekins Precision website they have uh, some information on their site if you read about their lower receivers. The information talks about uh, using screw-in pins versus um, standard roll pins that require uh, hammering, uh, you know, hammering a punch. I did read this the other day because I fielded some questions about what was on their website. And when you read the information on their website, it it does kind of give you the impression that this lower receiver ships with other pins. For example, maybe screw-in pins to hold the trigger in. Um, that's definitely not the case and that has been verified um, by speaking with Seekins Precision. This is how their lower, strip lower receiver ships. It, this does not come with any type of additional lower parts kit. But the addition of the bolt stop with the screws, you can see on this side right there, kind of by where my thumb is, there's another uh, uh, screw. This ambidextrous bolt stop release, it comes pre-installed, so I mean that's kind of an extra compared to other stripped lower receivers. Most stripped lower receivers do not have this. And hammering in the roll pin for the bolt stop release on this side is challenging. Um, uh, if you've looked at my other videos, you've seen me uh, do this several times on lower receivers, and I have the whole receiver taped up and have a really small hammer to tap the pin in. If you're not careful, you can scratch up your finish or, or damage this area over here. So this is nice that it comes installed. Um, this lower receiver is made out of 775 T6 billet. It is a type 3 
hard anodized. It is Teflon coated and like mentioned it has the oversized winter trigger guard. It has a quick access mag release and I'm assuming they refer to quick access as it's it's kind of recessed in so it's it's easier for your figure, finger to get to. Uh, that's an assumption on my part. It has a large front grip area with a uh, beveled magwell opening. So you can see that the magwell opening is beveled here so the uh, it's much easier to insert both aluminum and uh, plastic magazines. The This area is also textured. Um, they refer to this as a, as a front grip. I know a lot of people will will hold their, their firearm down in the magwell area and that's why this has kind of got a bevel to it and a texturing. It's for those types of people who like to, to grip their firearm this way. Um, there is also hope you can can see this with my lighting situation there are there is a screw a bolt here and there's a bolt right down there and these bolts are one of the bolt is a upper receiver tensioning screw that allows you to put a little bit more tension on your um, your upper so I'm assuming that is in the event you use an upper other than one of their uppers. If it's a little loose or it moves around, you can adjust the uh, tensioning screw. There's also a captive detent spring uh, which retains the rear takedown pin. So excuse the noise in the background there I've got some people moving stuff around so it's uh, detracting me from my train of thought here as I try to uh, cover all the uh, talking points um, let's see if there's anything else um, we have bullet markings and the um, Seekins Precision, Lewiston, Idaho, um, part number, their Seekins logo, um, the engraving is appears to be pretty nice so this this might be a ideal candidate for um, some color fill. Uh, the other side also has uh, bullet markings on it the logo and the it's labeled caliber multi caliber multi and the model number and made in the USA that's the bottom of the trigger guard if you can make that out at all this is a very well built uh, lower I don't, uh, I don't really have much else to say about this at this point. Um, I think it's very well worth the money um, for the quality that goes into the construction of this. If you're looking at buying a Seekins Precision lower or upper combo, I, I, I would highly recommend it at this point from what I've seen. Um, Obviously, I have not tried to assemble this with any type of buffer tube or a lower parts kit or even match it to a upper. So I just I can't comment on any of those factors at this point. Um, this is just out of the box, inspecting it, looking at it, the fit, finish, the quality, the machine work. Um, you know, it, it's like a, a Bravo company or a Spikes. Um, it's a different design obviously than those other ones um, and are these do these design features help in uh, loading of the magazine or the way you grip your your, your firearm I don't know um, it sure isn't going to hurt 
um, I'm pretty sure of that. And the uh, going with the winter trigger guard, I mean, at least you're not, you know, if someone's, if you're going to put a fixed uh, trigger guard on this, at least they they did a fixed one so you can get in there with large gloves. So uh, it seems like they've thought of just about everything from what I can see. But uh, I think the challenge is actually getting your hands on one of these. These are extremely difficult to get, just like well, actually, pretty much all decent quality lowers are extremely hard to get right now. Um, just thinking if I have any other talking points. I think I, I think I've pretty much covered everything on this. So that's going to wrap up this uh, little mini review of the Seekins Precision. SP223 billet Gen 2 lower receiver. Um, I actually don't know what a Gen 1 looks like, so I, I was going to talk about the differences between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2, but um, I've never held one a Gen 1 in my hand, so um, unfortunately I, I, uh, I don't like to talk about things based on what I've seen in pictures. I, I really like have to hold them in my hand to be able to do an A-B comparison, but as of uh, this video, if you do get the chance to buy a Seekins Precision Lower Receiver, this is what you're going to get. This is their current production model. And that's going to wrap it up for today.